Hello and good morning. Welcome to Global Sources Live. My name is Tom. I'll be your host today on a new episode of Supplier Stories, uh, where we get the point of view from the supply side of important issues around uh, sourcing internationally for all kinds of products. Thank you very much for joining us today. I come to you uh, from the Global Sources office in Hong Kong, uh, where we have uh, reasonably horrible weather. Uh, my socks are still slightly wet from getting rained on on the way to work. Um, but uh, I hope that the weather, wherever you're watching this, is considerably more clement. Now, today's topic is all about uh, what are the, the habits of competitive suppliers. And uh, we have a, a large roster of guests who are going to be uh, telling us about their experience and sharing their insight. Um, in fact, we have six later on, we will be talking to uh, Linda Chang of Xiamen Pinnacle Electrical Company, Todd Wu from uh, Yiwu B Phone Accessories Company, and Ellen Song uh, from Shenzhen Comiso Digital Technology. But that's to come a little bit later. Um, I would estimate the time, but uh, I don't want to encourage you to skip ahead, so I'm not going to. Uh, instead, uh, what I will do is uh, introduce our first three guests to discuss today's topic. But before I do, I'd like to remind you that uh, this is a live stream that you're watching. And uh, we want to use these streams to answer the questions that you know you, you have as a sourcing professional. And that's, you know, that's for everyone. So maybe you're uh, just running a small or medium sized enterprise, perhaps you're an e commerce seller on Amazon or another platform other platforms are available, uh, or indeed perhaps you are the procurement manager for some absolutely galactic scale uh, multinational um, chain. Um, and the best way for us to know uh, the specific questions you have is if you tell us what they are. So do leave your comments and questions for our panelists in the comments, uh, wherever you're watching this, be it Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn. And uh, we will pick out the ones that uh, we may not have time to answer everything, but we'll pick out the cream of the crop and uh, try and get them answered for you live. And if you come to this later, uh, do leave a comment under the uh, you know the recorded video and we'll do our best to put you in touch with the right people. So having uh, gone through all that spiel, uh, I think it's time to introduce the first of our guests. And that is going to be uh, from Shenzhen Sweat Sound Technology Company Limited. Vicky Huang, please bear with me while I get her on screen. Ah, good Hi. morning, Vicky. How's it going? Good morning, Tom. Yeah, it's all fine. right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, you're you're not too far from uh, from Hong Kong, just over the way in Shenzhen. How's the weather where you are? Have you also been rained on this morning, or have you escaped? Yeah, it's it raining. So it's raining today. It's always sun, but today is uh, is rainy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. I think uh, we always get the same typhoons and so on, pretty much as well, right? So, um, uh, yeah. Well, let's let's uh, learn a little bit about uh, your company. So, um, Sweat Sound Technology. Uh, that could be a lot of things. What what kind of products does your company make? Could you give us a bit of an intro? Yes, our company is established in two thousand nine. We do keyboards and earphones. Uh, now and. But we give more and more attention on earphones. So let me show you our company video, which can you let uh, you know our company easier. Yeah, sure. I think producer yeah, Allison, yeah. I think, is on standby. Um, yes. Let's have that now. It seems like we're not getting any sound on that. Um, um, can we can we try that again, but with sound maybe? Yes, I, I can't hear the sound. No, I can't hear anything. Let's uh, let me just remove that for a second. Yeah. Um, so uh, if our producer can maybe try uh, hitting the there's a slightly different share button. You have to do share with audio, I think. Um, then it might work. Let's try. Yeah.
Mm, still no sound for us here. Yeah, I'm afraid we're, we're not uh, not getting anything on, on this one, Alison. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, well, I mean, we could just talk over it, but I don't know if that's the best solution. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, Let's remove that for now. Uh, we'll see if we can solve that uh, technical problem, maybe come back to it um, later on after we have uh, some of our other guests on. Um, our technical team in the background will figure out how that goes. Um, so Vicky, okay, could um, you maybe summarize some of the things that we, we would have seen in, in the video? Yeah, maybe we can see the video later. Uh, yeah, yeah. So can you tell me maybe about uh, about the company? You know, um, for example, uh, you know, where are, what different countries uh, are your customers in? Yes, our main customers is in Europe and the USA. Yes, our main, uh, we do, we are prepared uh, about uh, the influence from 2017. And we set our Malaysia battery in uh, 2018. And we have uh, Hong Kong, set our Hong Kong office in two, 2019. Yes. Yeah, I see, I see. And what's, uh, what kind of scale do, do you work on? What's a typical minimum order quantity for, for your company? Uh, yeah, we have a quantity, quantity team. Yes, from the IQC to OQC, we always to, uh, to have many test equipment, equipments to make sure our, com our uh, products so that's the uh, yes the ability for the to make sure the quantity is good. Yeah, yeah, sure. The, uh, the uh, complete kind of quality assessment thing. All right. Well, thank you for that. I think um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointing on the video. Let's try and come back to it later. I tell you what. In the meantime, uh, let's yeah. let's bring on a second guest and we'll see if we can get to that video in it after our technical hitch is solved. So, uh, guest. Uh, oh. I was about to say guest number two. That sounds like we're ranking them. We're not. We just have to bring them on one at a time. But our second uh, featured company uh, today is uh, Chidong Vision Mounts Manufacturing, and they're represented by Lucy Liu and uh, Leon Wu, uh, a double act. Good morning, yeah. guys. Yes. Morning, Wu. Yeah, morning. Hi. And where are, where are you calling us from today? We are calling from Chidong, Jiangsu Province. Jiangsu province. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've uh, I've revealed my ignorance there by not immediately knowing where Qi Qidong is. Um, I think it's maybe less well known um, outside of China than, uh, say, Shenzhen is. Um, could you can you tell us a bit about the city? Like, uh, is it does it have any famous landmarks that people like to visit, or any okay. like special characteristics? Okay. Okay, Qidong is very close to Shanghai. Shanghai, you know, in the Middle East of China and uh, only one hour to Shanghai. So Qidong uh, is about uh, north of Shanghai, uh, across the Chongjiang River. So, and Qidong is a small city, but it is very convenient in the transportation. Uh, the weather in Qidong now, uh, it is very sunshine, uh, just like our mood. Oh, that's great. That's good to hear. <laughs> I'm happy for you on that. Well, let's. Uh, um, well, let me ask you then about your your company. So, uh, Chidong Vision Mounts Manufacturing. I think I can guess what you make, but uh, maybe you can tell uh, the viewers about your your products. Okay, our honor. So, Chidong Vision Mounts uh, is established uh, was established in 2006, and we are this company now. Uh, we manufacture a lot of products uh, ranging from TV mounts, monitor arms, standing desks, gaming desks, electrical beds, and so on. Uh, and we have customers from all over the world. Uh, no, uh, most of our customers are from also from USA and uh, uh, West Europe. West Europe, yes. And we also have customers from all over the world, but occupy a little bit uh, this year. Yeah. All right, thank you. And I'm seeing a message uh, from from the back room now that we uh, we apparently can play with sound. So I think we have an intro video for uh, for uh, vision, Qidong Vision Mounts. So let's let's cross our fingers and see if that works. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> let's try.
didn't you know? Ah, you see, now we have sound, but the video is uh, not really playing. Fifty kilometers. The company covers an area. of 19,000 square meters and 12 assembly lines, more than 300 employees. The company has become a prime manufacturer who is specialized in designing and producing a comprehensive line of universal LED, LCD warmer. Ceiling mounts, projector mounts, desktop mounts. Yeah, do you know, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna call that. <laughs> Cut the whole yeah. as well. Apparently, we have a connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're having, uh, we're getting closer each time, aren't we? I think what we're gonna have to do is uh, just make sure to upload all these videos uh, to our YouTube channel as well, so that people can go and watch them individually. Mm -hmm. Um, so, well, we started to hear um, at an agonizingly slow pace um, about the different kinds of, of mounts uh, that uh, you make for, for monitors and so on. Yes, um, yes. And you've already told us about your, your customer base in, in the Americas and, and Western Europe. And yes. um, so, um, yeah, can you uh, tell us anything else that like, you'd like to share about the company? You know, maybe, I don't know, uh, the okay. quantities you produce or your quality assurance, uh, that kind of thing? Okay, our pleasure. So our company, mm -hmm. uh, just as I said, was, uh, was a little company in uh, 2015, and we have a lot of patents, uh, more than 100 patents, which shows our R&D ability. Uh, we have an R&D team uh, for about 32, 32 persons. Uh, this is our R&D ability, uh, ability. And uh, we also have a very strict QA team so our core uh, QA team is around uh, 28, 28 persons, uh, and uh, which ca uh, which covers from all the period of our introduction, uh, our production, like uh, uh, on-site inspection, uh, material inspection, and uh, after sale, uh, after manufactured uh, inspections. So we also have a lot of certifications as well. Yeah. So because we are uh, a little company, so we have a lot of secure, uh, security uh, process to make sure of the qualities. Thank you. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we're going to add uh, one, one more panelist who is going to be uh, William Tang from Xiamen Brightex Import and Export, if I can just find... Yeah, there we go. Hi, good morning, William. How are you? Good morning. So, so now, now I will introduce my company. Yeah, please do, please do. Um, you're based in Xiamen, of course, so uh, no need to grill you on the geography. So yeah, um, do you have the PowerPoint already or is... Uh, yeah. Oh, Alison's, hold on, our producer is going to, uh, gonna play that for you. So let's, uh, she's loading it now. Okay, so yeah. uh, actually our, our office is located in Xiamen city and uh, and our factory, our own factory, is located in uh, Chengzhou, Chengzhou City. It's, an, it's the, another city in Fujian Province, but it's near the Xiamen City. So, and uh, and Alison, can you share my PPT now? Working on it. I think we may need to uh, okay. <laughs> arrange an equipment upgrade. Still loading, it says. Okay, no problem. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, our company is uh, our main product is like the sports sports uh, wear. Uh -huh. and, uh, and you can see, and I have shown some our products on the PPT, like the yoga wear, running wear, cycling wear, and so on. Yeah, uh, and now, and I have say since now the environment protection is the hot topic for the global global so and i have i have to say and now more and more clients ask 
like the eco eco material like the sustainable uh, fabric or something yes yeah, so now we do a lot of the sustainable uh, material for our clients yeah yeah, I understood. Yeah, that's definitely a big trend we've been seeing. Uh, here are global sources around yeah. us have been yeah identifying that a lot of customers are demanding yeah. more yeah more sustainable supply chains and uh, yeah, yeah like you say eco friendly materials. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and our factory uh, have the GIS the certificate, but our um, company also have the we have got the certificate of the GIS uh, last month in our factory yeah. uh, our company. Yeah. All right, fabulous. Okay, um, it's looking like no luck on the, the PowerPoint either. Um, I, I assure the viewer this did work in rehearsals, um, but perhaps we're unlucky this morning. Well, let's, so then let, let's move on, I think, to our to our main discussion, and uh, we'll see how we go with those files and things later. Um, let's let's go back to, to Vicky first, I think, because uh, we've we've left you si silent for a while uh, during the other intros. Um, we're talking about well, competitive suppliers. What what makes a supplier um, competitive? Which obviously is a good thing for your company, but also you know has positive points for for the buyers. So, can I ask you, Vicky, when uh, what is it that your company, uh, that's Shenzhen Sweat Sound Technology, what does your company do that makes it competitive compared to other suppliers who are in the same industry? Yes, yeah, thanks, Tom. I think first is uh, our innovative. We have 30 engineers and uh, they focus on the developing products. That's our research and development ability. We could say that we are leading the earphone industry, but we all, always keep uh, the follow the steps in the market. Let's attribute to our RD team. We have electronics engineers and the construction engineers and the, the software engineers and also the innovative engineers. We can meet customers' requirements from the appear, appearance design to the adjusting the software from the, uh, to the earphones. Another is our information, I think. Nowadays, we always provide the industry data to help customers to, to know the earphones industry better like the investigation of kinds TWS earphones, which is there is most popular, which can is hot, and which can is better for their markets. For example, the TWS earphones, we get the analysis state, should the stem still still is popular in US market, but the bean still is popular in Japan market. So the bear can adjust in the Buying strategies accordingly. I think this analysis, analysis data are uh, helpful for bears. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. That's, that's a very good point as well. I think it's something a lot of buyers are um, not unaware of, but uh, are le less often aware of is that um, many, well, some suppliers, the most competitive suppliers, do have this kind of overall uh, market research that they do and they can share. Um, with you if you're the one doing the sourcing because of course when you're just one buyer you have a relatively limited ability to um, assess markets but the supplier of course is constantly talking to lots of different buyers and getting information from them and that you know they won't share your private information but they will um, be able to give guidance on, on those general trends uh, let, let's put that question then to, to Leon and Lucy as well so for you guys what do you do that makes you competitive um, in your within your industry sector. Okay, so uh, we think we have three aspects that we make us competitive in the market. The first one is what I said uh, for the IMB ability. Uh, the second one is for our QA team. Also, I mentioned the third one is for our customer service. So the first one I will repeat is uh, we have a lot of IMB persons with a lot of patterns. So we uh, we always do the uh, strong uh, technology uh, barrier uh, from our fields. So this is the first thing. So second thing is through QA. So nowadays our customers sell a lot of products in the internet uh, compared with our old customers. They, they also sell in the uh, offline in the stores. 
So for the online uh, market, uh, the end users will be sensitive, more sensitive in their comments and uh, feedback of their products. So we must, yeah, yeah, we must improve our products and uh, make, uh, improve our products and uh, make sure of the quality, uh, which will impact our customers' uh, feelings. So this is the second thing. The third thing is for our customer service. So our customer service, uh, we always do the uh, for our customers to make their own requirement for their uh, for their needs. So we will make uh, make our customer defined uh, requirements for our customers. So which make them unique and competitive in the market. So that's all. Thank you. Yeah, that, thank you, thank you very much. And um, then let's go to William. I apologize, William. I had to mute your mic for a while there because we were getting some feedback. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're in, of course in a, I would say, a fairly different industry from uh, Vicky, uh, uh, Leon, and Lucy being in, in text. Well, not textiles, in apparel. Um, so how does yeah, how does uh, uh, Brightex make itself competitive? And is that quite different from from uh, our other guests' experience? Yes, and uh, actually, actually, and they are including a lot of things, and uh, just like the, the price and the quality and the in time delivery day delivery, and uh, also, but the most important things, and based on my experience, I think now and uh, most our clients they ask the extra service for them, just like uh, they they ask the client and uh, they ask the supplier to. Just like the um, provides the more uh, just like a development for them, and we provide the designs and uh, the new ideas and the sourcing the, the newest the material for them. I think that is quite important. And also, then no doubt the quality is is very important, and also the in time delivery date. And yeah, I think. The three, the three, the three things is quite important to. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Well, so, um, well, actually, yeah. Let, let's let's stay with you, uh, William, then for uh, for the next item on the agenda, which is uh, this question. So, when a buyer is looking for a new supplier, um, you know, kind of scouting around, trying to find someone with the the products they want, what characteristics do you think they should be looking for? What are the things they should pay most attention to when they're choosing a new supplier? Um, sorry, you, you mean, sorry? So uh, if, a, if a, a buyer is looking to find a new supplier, um, what kind of characteristics should they uh, look for? Should they pay most attention to? Mm, uh, I think it depends on the client. At the, Currently, I think it's the price, the competitive right. price. Yeah. So, and uh, and yes, and the, uh, we have some client. They ask the uh, quite the uh, low price, but they ask the uh, nice the uh, the goods. So, um, as now uh, as as all guys know now that all the material is the cost increase increase increase. So, and uh, we have to explain to your client. If they want, and the, and we can show them just like the one product, and that if they want to buy the product, and that we can do do some change and lower the cost, then they can just like uh, get the general looking, and uh, we can do some yeah, change the design just like a small uh, the element something, then we can remove them and then reduce the the cost, then they can get very cheap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, understood. All right, thanks very much. Well, let's let's go uh, back in reverse order, I guess, to uh, uh, Leon and Lucy. I'd like to put that question um, to you. Sorry, I'm just going to meet you again a little bit, William. Um, yeah, I mean, what what would you say if you had to give advice to uh, a sourcing professional? What what do you think they should look for uh, when identifying a new supplier for their products? Okay, so uh, we think that uh, our customers also want to find uh, a best seller or some some products which sell good. So, uh, so the first thing is also the price. So, if the price is within the range of their uh, looking field, so this is the first thing. And if the price is within the range, I think price is not only the, the only thing. 
The second thing is if the product is unique or uh, makes some outstanding from the uh, a lot of uh, similar products in the market, because uh, the competition is very uh, severe nowadays. So I think the the outlook and the functionality, if it is unique, is very important. And the third thing is the most important thing is that we must research the pro products pretty well to see uh, what the end users cares most. So for a lot of products in the market, they, are, they have good uh, feedback, they also have the bad feedback. So we must research the bad feedback mostly, uh, no matter for our products and also for the, uh, our competitive, our competitive products, so that we will know what, what is the uh, real point that the end users cares most. And that is what we will research for it, and we will uh, research and uh, make it into our product to make it competitive. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a great point. Yeah, the, the good comments are kind of not not a problem, are they? It's the bad feedback that is is so vital. Um, and and then let's go uh, to Vicky on on this one as well. Um, in your opinion, what what should buyers be looking for um, in terms of assessing? the competitiveness of uh, a potential supplier? Yes, uh, I think the service sense uh, is about the working attitude. I think we are cooperation relationship with our bears and with positive working attitude in the same position to the, uh, see the questions and solve the problems together is the quite important one. And another is, uh, I think, is the production cap capacity or the, and the product ability. Because I think uh, during the foreign trade, the product is an important fight. The market is various and the consumers are also di in different stage. We need to meet different markets and uh, know which product is suitable. And a good product based on strong RD team and the production capacity. It related the first experience. A good product is liked by more and more people in the end. But why bad product it will eventually fail to enter the market? So I think the product details is very important. Yes. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, and then we have a, a third question. It well, say question. It's quite long. I think it's more like a, an essay prompt. Um, I think I'm going to go to to William first with this one actually. So I'll just unmute him again. So, uh, William, our third third thing here is, uh, and I think this is a question that perhaps is a little bit sensitive for, for many suppliers, but let's try, uh, which is, how do you think that, um, how can buyers tell the difference between a supplier who is, you know, genuinely competitive and is like a reliable supplier, but is offering maybe a great price on good quality? Um, how can they tell the difference between that and a supplier who maybe is um, cutting corners on their products or is making promises that they can't really keep. Uh, what, what are the ways to, to tell the good ones from the bad ones? <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the question. Uh, for a new client, for a new client, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's from to find a new client, just like uh, we receive one the, uh, the inquiry from the, the platform, like the global source or something, the other platform, and uh, we we write uh, the, the email to them. I think the most important is we keep, keep in touch with them and send a lot of the, our newest products to them. And, uh, hmm. Right, so kind of the quality of the communication is how you can you can tell someone is mm -hmm. kind of knows what they're doing. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a great answer. Yeah, thank you. So, um, well, let me see, uh, Vicky, what, what do you think about that? Do you also kind of emphasize Kind of believable communications, or are there other things that buyers could watch out for? Uh, yes, I think to see a sample and the mass production goods are the same or not is a uh, factor to uh, to see a supplier is uh, competitive or not. Uh, 
Sometimes to do a good sample is easy, but sometimes it's hard to control mass production goods are the same. Same quality is not my uh, means some supply are cheaters because sometimes they couldn't control it. A good product based on many materials and many parts. They depend on many flexible factors because they buy the materials for other suppliers. So need a strong team to control the quality from the materials to the production. Every working station to make sure the, uh, the quality is good. So it can show a factor, a factory can help your strings. So I think it's important. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's a great point as well. Yeah. It, it's not always, or oh, actually, maybe mostly is not um, deliberately um, having that gap in the quality from sample to mass production. It, it is just difficult. <laughs> and sometimes people can't do it. Um, and yeah. well, let's put that to, to you, Leon and Lucy as well. Uh, what, what are the warning signs of a, a supplier that maybe can't deliver what they're promising? Um, or it, the opposite, what are the, what are the good signs of, of one that can? Okay, we also think uh, it can, uh, consists of three parts. So the first thing is uh, both us and our customers will make their background searching. So we will search for, uh, for, for, the, for the side. Uh, whether they are good or not from the old, uh, internet information or the other uh, uh, customers' data. So this is the first thing. The second thing is we maybe we will uh, start from a sample here, just uh, as Vicky said. So we will uh, send a sample, present, prepare the samples and send to our customers. And our customers will uh, investigate their product samples and decide whether the, the product is okay. And the third thing is uh, the customers maybe uh, come to our visit our uh, factory and uh, we will display their products and show their uh, advantages. And then we will make, maybe we will start uh, from uh, test manufacturing first. And both of us will come to uh, know each other pretty well. So this is the uh, third thing. And for the payment, we will also, uh, maybe we can step, step by step to establish our relationship. So first, we, maybe we will start from the maybe 30% uh, PT, uh, like, like that. And later on, when we are more uh, familiar and we uh, know each other pretty well, maybe we will do some OA terms like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which can make us more, uh, more good, for, for a more good relationship. That's all, thank you. Right, there's a, yeah, that sense of rising trust. Uh, that's, that's great, thank you all for that, yeah. I think, you. You've all raised these uh, overlapping or different items that, yeah, really can't be faked by by anyone. Uh, whether that's as as William mentioned, just the, the the communication. You know, you can tell when someone emails you, um, not by the quality of the writing as such, but how quickly or how easily they're able to answer any questions. You can tell if they know what they're doing, basically, and and that also applies to buyers as well. Um, must remember that suppliers also assess buyers when they get in touch. And uh, yes, your points about some, some quality versus uh, production as well, also very well taken um, from Vicky. Uh, let's go to the comments. Uh, yeah, I thought so. It's a little early in the stream for any questions, but we do have a couple of good mornings from LinkedIn user, unusual name, and uh, Chado, who also just says good morning. So thanks. And uh, maybe later we'll get some, some questions in the feed. So, well, that brings us then to the to the end of uh, this part of the panel. Um, so, to uh, Vicky Huang of Sweat Sound Technology, uh, Lucy Liu and uh, Leon Wu of uh, Qidong Vision Mounts Manufacturing, and of course to uh, William Tang, who I've just remembered I got on mute. Sorry about that. Of uh, Brightex Import and Export Co. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, I will um, well hopefully see you at some Global Sources show in real life sometime soon. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right. Bye bye. 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 There we go. Now, yeah, if you are intrigued uh, and impressed by um, any or all of those guests we've just spoken to now, you can, of course, uh, find them on globalsources.com along with thousands of other verified suppliers. But these three in particular, uh, I hope you'll agree, uh, have demonstrated insight and expertise in their various uh, markets. 
you can uh, find their profiles on globalsources.com and contact them very easily through a little form there. So if you have any follow-up questions, perhaps about the companies, the products, or anything they said earlier, you can contact them uh, that way. Um, so good. Yeah, as, as I mentioned earlier, um, you can leave your questions and comments below this live stream. And please do, because we always do want to receive uh, feedback. Um, even if it's uh, the negative, I can't hear what you people are saying uh, kind, or indeed, I don't like what you're saying kind. Uh, as, uh, as was mentioned by uh, Leon, I think it was, um, feedback is, is very important for making a better product. So that's what we need from you. Leave your comments on YouTube, LinkedIn, or Facebook as we go along. So uh, let's then begin with our second uh, tranche of three guests. And I'm going to bring in first, sorry, I'm just looking at my sheet of paper that I have taped to the <laughs> lampstand. Uh, we've got Linda Zhang from Xiamen Pinnacle Electrical Company. Let's get her in the feed. Good morning, Linda. How are you? Good morning, Tom. I'm good. How about you? Um, I'm doing OK, actually. Yeah, kind of soldiering on through the live, live stream um, and feeling reasonably relaxed now. So you're calling, uh, are you calling from Xiamen itself or are you in a, a different location? Uh, I'm calling from Xiamen, yeah. The weather here yeah. is rainy. We've been raining for a whole week. Really? Yeah, we've, uh, we've had uh, lots of showers off and on. I think, I think today is our first really solidly rainy day. So that's something for us to look forward to in South China <laughs> for the next <laughs> couple of months, isn't it? So yeah. now, uh, let me see. So can you, um, could you tell us quickly, like, what does you know, what does Xiamen Pinnacle Electrical, you know, what do you, what do you make? Where do you sell it? And then we might try a video intro after that, but can you give us the basics first? Yeah, sure. Uh, we, are lead, uh, we are leading manufacturer for physical devices and all-in-one POS, um, uh, retail scales, commercial scales, printer, and barcode scanners. Those are um, uh, mainly uh, commercial, uh, commercial equipment. Um, commercial equipments, you mainly can uh, see them in the supermarket. Uh, uh, people yeah. are very famous, uh, very famous brand. Uh, most of the supermarket in China use our our products. I see. Oh, so you have a, a large buyer base in China, and do you ship many uh, products overseas as well? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, we have a uh, three. Uh, three international branches. Uh, one is in Australia, and one is in Poland, and one is in Amsterdam. And we ship our products all over the world, uh, in Europe, um, Middle East, America, and Africa. For Africa, mainly for physical products. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, I'm almost afraid to ask, but let's uh, let's see if we can get the the intro video uh, rolling. Okay. I think that's it. This is not that inside. And this is our type A uh, headboard. And this is the pictures of our friends offices. Scale series, like all in one scale series for printing labels and data for data management. And those are label scales. I, uh, when you go to the supermarket, they will give you like a three different sticker uh, put on the package, and you can scan the barcode uh, to get the information for pricing and everything. This is our pricing scales. We exported uh, maybe for European and uh, for. Um, Americans. Mm 
those also for printing, for basic printings, international approvals. Those are our POS terminal, uh, handheld hand uh, POS. Those mainly used use in the shops, small shops, for printing basic and order. And physical devices, uh, maybe for like mass registers. And for, for, for countries, they, they have a physical law and they need special design for the uh, cash registers. Those are our printers. And this is the factory information in German. Okay, this that's it. Oh, hi Tom. S sorry, I can hear you. I think you muted. Oh, there we go. Yes, I got I got muted somehow. Sorry about that. Um, rookie mistake. My apologies. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that and your good voiceover. And uh, the video just about worked, so that was good. Um, I think we may need an equipment upgrade on on our end of uh, production. Um, but thank you for for talking us through that. Let's uh, let's bring in our, our next guest, I think, then, um, who will be, checks list, Todd Wu of, uh, now you see, I struggle to know how to pronounce this. I'm going to try, and then I'll ask him if it's right. Todd Wu from EU B Phone Accessories Company, is that correct? Hello, Todd. Hi, Todd. How are you? I'm fine. That's great to hear. So how is how's the weather in you? It's a weather discussion uh, live stream today. How is the weather in you? Uh, it's a sunny day. Uh, it's comfortable. Nice. Oh, that's, oh, that's I'm, I'm happy for you about that. So um, yeah, can you give us a, a little intro about uh, about your company? You know, what do you what do you make? And then after you've given us the basics, we'll, we'll try and uh, show your intro video as well. Yes. Uh, we are a manufacturer of hair accessory and uh, fashion jewelry, and uh, we uh, prepare a video. And uh, Alison can play the video. Yeah, let's let's give it a go. Producer Alison, take it away. Established in two thousand one, is a professional manufacturer engaged in research development. Production, sale, and service of hair accessories. We are located in Ewu with the world's largest small commodity market. Dedicated to strict quality control and thoughtful customer service, our experienced staff members are always available to discuss your requirements and ensure full customer satisfaction. In recent years, we keep up with the trend, constantly develops new products, enriches showroom, and strives to meet the needs of our guests. There are many kinds of hair accessories in our showroom, such as hair clips, headbands, Alice bands, scrunchies, and elastic hair bands. In other words, we have a full range of accessories and provide one-stop shopping service. We also have a professional products development team. There are eight designers and workers work for this development team all year round. One of our advantages is we have our own factories. In addition, 
addition, we have professional quality control team. QC inspects daily in the workshop and issue inspection report before shipment. And we have obtained certificate BSCI, selling well in super. markets and retail stores, our products are exported to clients in such countries and regions as Europe, Russia, North America, and South Africa. We also welcome OEM and OEM. ODM orders. Whether selecting a current product from our catalog or produce according to your design, you can talk to our salesmen about your sourcing requirements. All right, there we go. That was, <laughs> again, a little jerky, but just about watchable. So thank you for sharing that with us, uh, <laughs> Todd. Um, so we'll, we'll hear more from uh, Todd during the panel, but now uh, it remains just for me to introduce our, our final, but by no means uh, least guest, which is Ellen Song from uh, Shenzhen Comiso Digital Technology. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you're right. OK, great. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Yeah, nice to meet you too. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, right now in Shenzhen, the weather is very nice, not too hot. As we all know in Shenzhen, especially in summer, the, the temperature is so high and uh, you better to stay at home rather than go out. So yeah, today yeah. is quite good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I moan about the thunderstorms, but they do make it a little bit cooler uh, once they're finished. So that's great. So um, now you, you are uh, from Comiso Digital Technology. Can you can you tell us about uh, about that? What what products does your company make, and, and where do they go? Okay, uh, for our company, uh, this is uh, our main products is Bluetooth speakers. All of our products. Uh, Bluetooth speakers such as outdoor and indoor, and also some portable speakers. Uh, just like uh, uh, the products behind me, uh, just sitting in our uh, display room. So uh, for our company, we specialize in speaker for around eight years. So, um, and uh, for all of our clients, we just uh, develop uh, to attend the uh, uh, Global Sales Show and the Hong Kong Show, April and October. And we also attend the biggest show to display our products. And uh, for the future, maybe we will develop some, uh, some, some bar speakers, which is compatible to use in your home theater. That would be good for display the, uh, your movie and enjoying your free time. And the uh, next one, we will move to the uh, earphone speakers. You know, uh, right now, many people are eager to do more exercise outdoor or indoor. They will try to uh, pl plug in their earphone every day, even though no matter 
in the um, in the on the uh, road of home and uh, enjoying their free time, they would like to wear the earphones. So this would be a big, uh, uh, I think it is a big market for us to develop in. Right, yes, big big opportunities available. Yeah. Now, um, I think, um, and again, I'm, I'm nervous about saying this, I think that we have a, a little PowerPoint intro that you can share. Um, let's see, oh, okay, there we go. So. Uh, would you like to to talk us through this quickly? I will have uh, producer Alison on on the page flipping. You can just say when you want the okay. next page. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, our company is established in, in 2013, and uh, from now on, we just have uh, uh, around eight years. And for our our products, um, as I said before, we um, in our main products is speakers. We have different series. For outdoor speakers, we would uh, we have rich experience in waterproof speakers, such as uh, we, we have many we have many speakers with IPX7 level. So for IPX7 level, it means you need to have a good structure inside, and uh, you can put just put the speaker in the water for 30 minutes. When you took out, it is okay, and all uh, it can work uh, normally. And we, we also have some mini speakers uh, for your uh, maybe gift uh, gift uh, marketing, and uh, they will buy such as a smaller one. This is our bestseller for the gift channel, and uh, we also have our own uh, Amazon show, Amazon store. So we will quite uh, sell our products. They are sell quite good in Amazon. Uh, so for so for our company, we pay more attention to our product quality. You know, uh, maybe the price, uh, the lower price, you can uh, attract many customers at the first sight. But uh, after you cooperate for a long time, uh, the quality is uh, key important to keep cooperation with them and build a long relationship. Yeah, oh, very true. So thank and you. And this for, is for our that certificate. Uh, our company oh. have, uh, yeah. And for products, we have a sales. And for all of our products, we own the patents. So it is quite, uh, I think it is an advantage for people to buy our products because it is total new in the market. Then they can compete with other competitors. Yeah, this is our BSA report. Um, in the in the, in the future, we, we will develop some many new products, which to catch the trend of the market. This is our team. Uh, as I said, we uh, we will attend the Hong Kong show every year, so we quite uh, grew up with Global Source. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is a really good platform for us. Yeah, this is our That's office. Great, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, our market um, actually, um, our main market is US, Europe and the US market. Uh, we have some good uh, clients. At the first, we just we just cooperate with OEM project, but after um, after work together for a period of time, we start to do OEM project. We can uh, our clients tell us some ideas, then we make. Uh, make the idea, realize the ideas, and uh, uh, build a good uh, products for them. As you can see, this is our main market. Yeah. I see. Yeah, this is our machine to make sure all of our products can make uh, in a good situation and uh, also. Uh, to make sure our products can work very well, even though after a long period of time. And then we, we, we have QC team to follow the product lines to make sure to check each product and the components before we assemble uh, it. And uh, for the finished products, we also check check them. If, if our clients uh, sell in um, online, maybe we will pay more attention to the quality and uh, try to check all of the products. All right. Um. Yeah. 
This is our production lines and the warehouse. Uh, for for our company, we just strive to uh, develop a good products for our clients, and also we would like to make sure our clients have a good uh, good advantage to win their market. So quality, high quality, is our key to maintain their long term relationship with our clients, and uh, we will keep developing some. Uh, good products for our companies. Yeah, this is our display room. It's our company. Yeah. yeah, these are some brands of our clients. We we have this is our organ. Yeah. Uh, oh, what are all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so some some uh, high profile clients. I'm I'm guessing <laughs> is is the message there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, um, thank you very much. So yeah, let's. Uh, I think we've all got to know um, whom we're dealing with uh, now. So the, the different perspectives that our guests are coming from. So let's let's crack on to to the discussion part of of the stream. So fundamentally, we're going to look at the the same questions that our our uh, our first three guests today also looked at. But you know you're coming from different points of view and uh, different experiences, so perhaps your answers will be quite different. And if they're quite similar, uh, that is also uh, interesting and hopefully tells us something uh, valuable. Now, uh, Linda, I've I've left you uh, being silent for quite some time, so let's come to you with the this first question. Um, and again, well, this is again, I guess, introducing your company in a way. What would you say it is that? Uh, Xiaomi Pinnacle Electrical does that makes it competitive compared to other suppliers in in the same in the same industry. Uh, okay. Uh, first is innovative uh, innovative products. Our products are uh, always special features. For example, our pricing scales. Our most scale pricing scale in the market uh, may be used for two or three days without a battery. But our pricing skills, we uh, have energy saving design, which can uh, last for one or two years. Yeah. And second is like uh, good branding. Uh, our products are already in the market for over uh, almost 40 years. That's a long time. And every year we uh, uh, participate in international uh, exhibitions. Every year we uh, participate about 10 uh, 10 uh, aspirations, international aspirations, and about China, about uh, four or three, uh, three or four aspirations. And most of the customers, uh, most of the people in the same industry know our company. And so, uh, third is about good quality and good service. And of course, good price. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, let's go. Um, let's, let's put that same question to Todd. Sorry, Todd, I muted you for a while. There was a bit of background uh, chat. So, um, yeah, let, let me ask you. So, when uh, it comes to B phone accessories, how do you make yourselves competitive um, compared to other manufacturers that make maybe similar similar products to yours? Yeah, thanks, Todd. Uh, Compared to other suppliers in the same industry, we have done two things. Uh, the, the first one is uh, we setting up and expanding our own factories with advanced equip equipment. By last year, we have uh, had four factories, two in Zhejiang and two in Jiangxi. And in our plan, we are expanding one more uh, by this year. Uh, because of these factories, we have enough production capacity. It brings us many advantages. For example, uh, we can deal with big orders easily, and uh, we can deliver the goods in a short time. And uh, we can lower the cost uh, of production. Uh, in other words, we can give a better price to the buyers. And the second thing we've done is uh, 
we ex develop our showroom. You can see after me, it's our showroom, uh, it's bigger. And you can, uh, there are more than 10,000 samples in our showroom. And uh, yeah. our design team, uh, and our yeah, design team- I can see the background. <laughs> Good. Our design team uh, developed uh, hundreds of samples every month. And you can look, look, you can look for anything in our uh, showrooms. Uh, please come to our showrooms, uh, and uh, it uh, won't make you down. It's uh, always I say to uh, every buyer who have a plan to uh, visit uh, downline. So oh, really? um, yes, what uh, what we what I uh, what we call the yes, uh, one stop one stop uh, one stop uh, shopping one stop shopping is yes, we are uh, doing for uh, yeah yes uh, yes it's two things we do uh, for uh, our company uh, yeah, yeah I yes, can imagine our factory uh, yes one our factory and another is our showroom these two things. yeah. I imagine quite a few buyers visit the showroom and come away with uh, like new ideas or things they didn't expect to to make an order for, right? So yes. um, yeah, that's great. Um, let's uh, throw it over then to Ellen, who is uh, at Shenzhen Commerce Digital Technology. Sorry, I nearly forgot the last part of the company name. Uh, yeah, what what do what is Commerce for short? What do they do? would you say that makes you stand out and be more competitive than uh, other suppliers in your in the Bluetooth speakers and like audio products arena? Uh, okay, I, in my opinion, I think firstly, it is a product. You need to start to develop a good products for your clients. You know, uh, we just want to build a long relationship with your clients, not just one business. So a good a good product is very important for for a company also for our clients. Secondly, I think uh, you need to deliver the goods on time. You know, every your product, your your. Um, I think your business partner have their marketing plans. So if you miss out the marketing savings, maybe you will miss a lot of opportunities to no uh, matter for you and uh, also for your clients. You just cannot, uh, uh, in the first instance, maybe they can see a lot of value, but uh, if you miss that opportunity, you can lose a lot, uh, lose a lot of it. Second, uh, the third one, I think uh, you need to uh, keep, keep contact with your clients. Even though you finish your order, but uh, that is not all. You need to keep tracking the process with your clients. If they sell the products is well and uh, during, during the selling, did they uh, meet some problems or they just got some feedback from their and the users? You need to connect uh, those informations. You know, th those are data is very important for both of us. We can, uh, we can talk with us, these are the measures for your clients. And uh, just your next, for your next order, maybe you can make some improve and uh, to solve some problems for your clients. That is a good way to keep it in a, a good circle, you know. Once, uh, only when your clients are well, then they can keep, release a good order to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I think, uh, I think the price is not uh, very important, you know. If your clients just want to build their company reputation, they, they, they didn't uh, care about uh, one or uh, 50 points of the, uh, of the cost. They would, allow, would, they would rather to pay more cost, just want to buy a good product. It is a long, uh, it is a long relationship for both of us. Uh, after you build your, you need to take a long time to build your company reputation, but uh, only one step, you can just rule all of it, rule of your effort. So uh, we just keep, uh, we just try to every time make sure our, our products is uh, good quality and uh, solve, the, solve our client's problem immediately. And we also uh, would like to take responsibility for, for our clients such as 
uh, if they find some defective of our products, even though the time is beyond our guarantee uh, warranty years, one year, but uh, if they came back to us and said some bad fit comments of our products, we would rather to solve the problem first, not just to negotiate and uh, uh, keep discuss and uh, do not share the responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good way to win our trust and uh, build a good uh, relationship. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a fantastic response, uh, uh, Helen. So, um, well, I'm also quite quite surprised and uh, interested to hear you say that talk about uh, price not being that important. When I think at least two of our uh, first half guests said price. Price is the most important mm -hmm. thing. So, I guess I think to a degree that. Um, depends on, uh, I guess, the product, and also, um, well, you know, yeah, context-based. But uh, let's let's see our second question here. So, what is the question? When a buyer is looking for a new supplier, what characteristics should they look for? Um, I'd like to go to Todd first with this. I think, um, in your opinion, what are the signs of a good competitive supplier uh, that the buyers should look out for? when they're trying to choose uh, someone to go into business with. Okay, in my opinion, I think uh, buyers should uh, focus on three points. The first one is if the buyer is a trader or a manufacturer, if the buyers have, uh, if the buyers pro produce the product by themselves, uh, they usually will give you a better price. And the, the second one is the ability of de developing new products. It is important for buyers uh, if he wants to uh, work with the supplier uh, in long term. Uh, when you looking for something, the supplier's master should be uh, give you the designs immediately. So the develop the so, so the ability of Developing new products is important. And the last one is uh, uh, the experience. If the buyers have worked uh, with many buyers similar with you, uh, they probably know what you want and uh, what uh, are sold well in your market. And it's a uh, uh, involves a lot of unnecessary troubles. Right, right. So yeah, very, very good point. Yeah. So, yeah, so manufacture uh, the ability of developing new products and the experience is the three points I think is important. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, fun. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right. Um, well, uh, Linda, uh, do you sort of, uh, do you think buyers should focus on uh, those same points or is there something else uh, you think they could look for to find a good competitive supplier. Yes, I totally agree, uh, agree with Toddy. Uh, uh, um, but I also think uh, good cooperation also including a uh, good uh, handling crisis during the cooperation. Uh, for example, um, Every time you cooperate with an agent or cooperate with a distributor during the cooperation, sometimes there might be crisis. Um, uh, that depends. Uh, that needs you to re uh, react. Good, uh, react. Um, perf uh, do some reactions um, um, to solve the crisis. Yes, and um, also I think um, in trust between the supplier and the uh, agent is very important. For long time business, uh, like cutting short corners or cheeky, make some cheek, it's not to work for long time relation. Yeah, yeah, those are <laughs> good warning signs to, to look for. Um, and then, uh, yeah, well, Ellen, same, same question. What, what do you think that buyers should be looking for as uh, good signs of of someone to work with. Mm, for me, I think when uh, the when the uh, new clients reach to you, I think firstly you should be professional. You know, uh, you are the first image of your company. 
even though I didn't know, maybe didn't know more about your company, but you, you are the one to make them, to, I think, attract their interest to your company and your products. So profession, professionalism is very important. You can, uh, you just make a window to display your products to your clients. And secondly, I think you should tell, tell them what you have and uh, what you can uh, pr bring some, some products to them. And uh, you also can display your, your products and uh, let them uh, use it and uh, listen to the products. You know, there are many similar products in this market, many competitors in our country. So you, you need to uh, let them touch and feel your products and uh, you can compare with the two speaker, two speakers, just like our products. So they can uh, check their sound and uh, just to, they will know which one is better. And the secondly, if uh, they have time, you can invite them to your company. They will, you will see it in person and uh, know your machines and uh, to take control your quality. And uh, also you can, they can see your team. You know, in consumer industry, uh, keep developing new products and uh, use some new technology to your products is also very important. You need to catch the trend of the market. So let, let them know you have the ability to to develop that uh, kind of speaker for them, so they will have faith in your company. And next, yeah. uh, you can also to uh, tell them which brand you are created with them. You know, some some famous brand, they will know it in their market. Maybe they will trust your quality and uh, would like to cooperate with you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Those well, those are all super great points. Thank you, uh, thank you, Alan. Actually, can I? I I'm going to come to you uh, straight away for the the follow up question, which I think is the the opposite, right? So, um, sometimes you you get a, a supplier that quotes you an amazing price for good quality of a product that you want, and that's great. But sometimes the reason they're able to do that is because they are perhaps cutting some corners in production. Or perhaps it's not deliberate. Perhaps they just uh, are making some promises that actually they're not able to keep. Um, what What do you think are the warning signs of of that? You know, how can you tell the difference between what's a, maybe a really great price and something that's going to be a disaster in the future? How can they tell? Sorry, that's to Ellen. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. Mm, I, I I think uh, uh, if you make the promise to your clients, you you need to stick to it. Even though you maybe during some time it's harder to uh, keep the promise. What you tell told to your clients, such as the delivery time and uh, such as the price, maybe in in the past this price and uh, it is good because. Uh, uh, interest rate is keep, uh, is keep change. Maybe in that time it is good one for your clients. But uh, after a period of time, it it, it can um, can change uh, better or or the bad for your company. You need to increase the price. So right at this time, no one wants you want to buy the products which you increase the cost. You know it is hard for your clients in their market. So you need to uh, give them proofs or some, uh, I think you need to have a good communication with them. They will understand you. And they, they, I think the problem when you do business is not just about business. It's about uh, to respect their uh, requests and opinions. We need to change the, change different opinions. and. Uh, to uh to meet meeting in the end and the win-win situation is our prefer to reach to so uh, good communication is very important also uh, i think uh, for example if your clients read this uh, read this order to you and uh, at uh, that time uh, everything is good and uh, you can you can uh, deliver the goods on time but uh, during some accident such as uh, in 2019, the COVID-19 is occurred. You know, they, they, there are too many 
things happen, you need to, you just need to uh, keep track with your clients and uh, talk with your clients. There are many behind the reasons. They will understand you, but uh, don't, do not uh, try to pour trust one on it and uh, cheat them. You know, that is, once once they know the truth, you maybe you totally lose them. But yeah, uh, if yeah. you're honest, <laughs> I think uh, you still have the chance, even though right now you cannot uh, on to the next stage but uh, in the future i think they still have the chance give you the opportunity to cooperate they will re yeah. remember you yeah, people remember things for a long time yeah thank you thank you Helen, for that uh, very complete answer it's uh yeah com communication is uh, a theme we often we often hear from from experts in sourcing it, it, it is so important and uh, i think yeah if someone cuts off communication or avoids questions that's certainly a warning sign that things are not going well uh, in some way. Uh, let's go to, to Todd with that question, which I'll just remind you of, uh, is, yeah, how can buyers tell the difference between uh, a real, a genuine competitive supplier and one who is not able to deliver what they're promising? What are those warning signs? Yeah, first uh, of all, uh, buyers can search the information of suppliers online to see if they have certificate or not such as the BCI, CETX, uh, if they have uh, cooperated co with the uh, FAMS company before. By the way, buyers can also watch uh, the video of the uh, spires to know more about them. It uh, will help you to make a better judgment. And uh, then buyers can analyze the pr price uh, they got from the spires, uh, usually, but not absolutely. The spires who give the lowest or the highest prices are not the judge in the uh, competitive spires. Mm. Uh, a competitive spires should usually give a, mod uh, give a moderate price to take a quality and uh, the great uh, spires into the account. After that, buyers can place a sample order to see if the spires can send the samples on time. Uh, and if the samples you received are good, are in good quality, uh, it's a way to. Uh, finally, there is a proverb uh, in China, seeing is believing and uh, hearing, hearing is uh, empty. If there uh -huh. is a chance, <laughs> yes, yeah, if there yeah. is a chance, buyers should go to visit, visit the spires by themselves uh, before they place the order uh, as far as possible. So visiting, visiting their office, visiting their, uh, visit their factories, uh, visit their showrooms, uh, the buyers must uh, can now, if the spires is a competitive uh, spider or not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's Wise the best words. way. Yeah, I think it's the yeah. best way to see it by the, the themselves. Yes, that's all. Yeah, right. thanks, Todd. Yeah, um, uh, Linda, uh, your thoughts? Yes. Uh, I thought uh, first um, to be a competitive surprise first, um, the um, uh, customer can check on the website to see the profile and also can see the descriptions about the products if the description is uh, professional or not and second they can um, um, they can see if the brand the customer is looking for is um, well known or, um, or already in the market for a long time Usually the supplier have more experience. For example, our brand already have 40 years experience in this industry. Many supplier will know us and it, it will show, uh, it may us more interest because we have a um, long experience and we already in this business for a uh, very long time. Um, also uh, customer can uh, order some samples or they can uh, may uh, 
they can uh, go to the exhibition. Uh, every time the supplier have um, exhibitions, they can try to attend exhibition as to see the products or visit the uh, suppliers factories. Uh, then it will give them a whole image about this company. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. So yeah, quite quite similar in some ways to Todd's recommendation for seeing is believing, I guess. And yes. uh, yeah, you're, it, it is a little unfair on maybe, you know, younger, smaller suppliers of different products. But ultimately, yes, I think if you have two uh, otherwise equal um, options, the one that's been around for a long time and has lots of famous customers is probably probably the safest one <laughs> to go with, isn't it? So well, yes. thank you very much. That's that's our, our kind of main discussion. I'm just going to have a quick look in the comments and see what we have. Uh, oh, so from uh, Robin Lung, uh, he asks, how to compare Vietnam and China? What I, I imagine he means suppliers. Now, I almost uh, wish uh, we'd done this while um, William from Brightex was on screen, because I know Vietnam is a big a textiles and apparel center. Um, does anyone have any thoughts about the pros and cons of uh, suppliers in China and Vietnam? Um, China always is the uh, manufacturer, the worldwide, uh, the world manufacturer. Um, Vietnam maybe um, that's less manufacturer. Uh, most of the Vietnam company are for trading. That's my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I think that that's fair. Actually, it is true that Vietnam's manufacturing sector is growing very, very rapidly. Um, but uh, for the time being, um, China d certainly remains, I think, the manufacturing center for more or less every uh, <laughs> every industry. Um, Vietnam also has a bit of an issue with, um, I feel like I'm really being mean to Vietnam now, but uh, it, it doesn't have that many ports um, as yet. They are building lots, but the, those are the issues that I think, if, yeah, if you want to, what we've heard from buyers um, and, and suppliers, uh, sort of sourcing experts from the ASEAN region is that uh, uh, Vietnam, you know, you should certainly look at the companies there, but you should also be aware that your logistics are going to be a different kind of challenge than the, you know, you can't just take your China arrangement and go to Vietnam, that that won't work. So that's, yes. uh, it's a good good question though, and thank you. And actually, I've uh, if, uh, sorry, who was that from? Robin, if you are interested, I have just remembered there is a Global Sources ebook uh, covering some of the issues around sourcing from uh, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, India, and other uh, sourcing hubs in Southeast Asia or South Asia in the case of India. So uh, do check that out on globalsources.com. Um, that's uh, that's my ad advertisement for our, <laughs> our sourcing guide done. Um, that looks like it for the comments, actually. So, uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, so that's uh, Linda from Shaman Pinnacle Electrical. Todd from UB Phone Accessories and Ellen from Shenzhen Comiso Digital Technology. Thank you so much for joining us today. I've uh, really enjoyed talking to you and uh, I hope we'll be able to meet again, perhaps in real life sometime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for All, right. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Move those guys from the screen. There we go. So. That's our panel. Now, I'm also getting a message uh, from here in the private chat. Um, those of you who've been watching from the very beginning, which I'd like to think is uh, maybe almost all of you, uh, may remember we had some technical trouble with uh, the, the uh, introductory videos for a couple of our guests. And we are now going to try and uh, rectify that situation by playing them now. And I think first up, we will have Sweat's sound technology. Let's see. In Sweet Sound, we treat every requirement as the beginning of excellence and innovation. We embrace the mindset of innovation, sense of simplicity, and consistently exploring technology application with human care in our products, process, and manufacturing system. For more than 10 years, Sweet Sound has been developing steadily with customer-centric approach. We also practice the concept of standardization and informatics as the core in our operation system. From single product to total solution, 
Sweet Sound has earned the reputation of strength in R&D, project management, and product realization that customize to requirements of different customers. We aim to achieve excellent product development and high quality service and constantly exceed customer expectation. With comprehensive factory management system, advanced production facilities and equipment, our professional production team is skilled to maintain most efficient manufacturing system with streamlined product testing. We strive to provide high level of quality product to our customer. Today, Sweet Sound has grown into a national high-tech enterprise. We have obtained a large number of patent certifications and qualifications, as well as providing excellent services to many brand customers at home and abroad. On the road of innovation and development, we establish Sweet Sound Malaysia and Hong Kong Holding Company Limited. We have initially formed the layout of Sweet Sound Global Development. Looking ahead, Sweet Sound will continue in cultivation of talent team and forge win-win solutions with all partners. We will focus on technological innovation in the field of intelligent acoustics. Strive to become a leading total solutions provider in the era of IoT. Connecting the world with SweetSound. Done it again. So uh, there we go. Uh, so that was uh, an intro to uh, a company I now realize I should have pronounced Sweet Sound all along. And you can find out more info about them and get in touch with them uh, via globalsources.com, as you can with all of our six guest uh, companies. And we have one more intro video to play for you this one from uh, Qidong Vision Mounts Manufacturing. Let's see if we can get that rolling for you. Company Limited is located in Qidong, Jiangsu Province, China. The straight line distance to Shanghai is only 50 kilometers. The company covers an area of 19,000 square meters and 12 assembly lines, more than 300 employees. The company has become a prime manufacturer who is specialized in designing and producing a comprehensive line of universal LED, LCD wall mounts, ceiling mounts, projector mounts, desktop mounts, TV stands, height adjustable desk, gaming desk, and electric bed frame for audio, video applications in home or office. We serve original equipment manufacturers, institutional and industrial customers, professional installers, focusing on supplying the innovative and affordable solution for global customers. Firstly, we have a dedicated R&D and engineering team to support and serve our customers' needs. Secondly, as an ISO 9001 certified manufacturer, <coughs> we have implemented the Total Quality Assurance System for raw material inspection, production processing control, to final inspection and packaging. Finally, our devoted customer care service teams always ensure your inquiries responded in a timely fashion and your orders on time delivered. Honesty is the core value of our company and we have established a credit system of be honest to customers, be honest to the staff, be honest to the vendors and be honest to interest-related people.
And there you have it. So, uh, wow, an hour and a half, a bumper episode uh, this time, um, but I think uh, packed full of valuable insights and expertise. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our guests, Vicky, Leon, Lucy, William. Yes, I am reading them off a list. Linda, <laughs> Todd, and Ellen. I only needed to look once, though. Thank you to producer Alison for keeping the cogs turning in the background and fixing our technical issues as they arose. Uh, do stay tuned for more Global Sources live content in the future. Visit globalsources.com, subscribe to the magazines, get the product alerts, um, go find uh, verified suppliers, and uh, have lots of business success. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you, hopefully, next time.